from frigid cold weather to heavy snow to thunderstorm activity, we have a lot going on across the U.S. as we head through the weekend. Here is the map from coast to coast. We have snow spreading across the central U.S., thunderstorm activity impacting the peninsula of Florida. And where these skies are clear across the upper Midwest, that's where it's going to be exceptionally cold. So there are a number of advisories and warnings that are going to be in effect through the weekend. Heavy snow from the mountains of the northwest and several inches of snow possible where we have advisories, winter weather advisories in those purple shaded areas across the Midwest and uh, even higher amounts across parts of Nebraska. That's a winter storm warning. Then we turn our attention to the northeast and the mid-Atlantic states as this system moves into this area toward the second half of the weekend. Five to nine inches of snow possible in New York City, several inches around three to six inches also possible in Washington, D.C. That's going to mainly be for Sunday and then this system pulls out of the area by the end of the day on Sunday. Then we turn our attention back toward the Midwest where it's already been very cold and it's going to be getting colder. The combination of very cold air and a little bit of a breeze will send wind chill values tumbling. So it's been a cold start to the day already. These are some of the forecast low wind chill values as we head toward the end of the weekend. 30, 40, even 50 degrees below zero.